Hi guys, it's Matt here with Adam. Hey. So we've just taken a couple of minutes out from the festivities of the day to do a quick rundown of one of the games we played earlier this morning. So here we've got a 60 point aside game with two Brit players against two German players. Yeah, we had uh, Panzer fours and Panzer threes with a lot of uh, Crusaders and Grants as well. So Adam, who's with me, was one of the German captains alongside Anders, whilst Matt and Jonathan from a customer services team took on the Brits. So the mission we were playing was free for all. And for those of you who don't know what that mission entails, each player places two objective markers on the opposing player's set up area. And the winner is the first is the first team to control an objective in the opposing half of the board, or or if we destroy enough of the enemy tanks, which thankfully we did. Uh, the British started off in attacking, and uh, the Germans ended up defending. Yeah, so as you can see from the video, there's a lot of action going on the flanks early doors. So Matt's pulled all the Crusaders around to try and get behind the Panzers. The, the Brit tanks in the starter box massively outnumber the German oppositions, but they're a lot weaker. If they can't get those flank shots, they're really ineffective. But they do have the speed. In the second turn, he was already in my flanks. Uh, so they can be really dangerous. Now, on the far side here, what you can see is the Grants, which are great tanks. Absolutely. When we played a couple of weeks ago, I think my Grant took out one of your Panzers in the first turn. Oh, was... without a doubt. They've got heavy guns on them. But, um, so on the far side, they push them up. But the Germans countered by pushing their Panzers force forward and just had a bit of a sustained fireflight through the game. Yeah, he tried uh, flanking through the town, but um, one of the Panzers left there got some good shots off and managed to hold it. I think you can see now, actually, uh, Jonathan's just started to move through the town. He's, he's gone past the well as he pushed to the other side of the board. He's trying to just get behind. Yeah, he, um, if he'd pulled that off, they'd be in real trouble and um, his, his grants he had left killed a lot of the Panzers over there. But now, in, in the middle of what, so what's going on here? Just explain to me. So, the Crusaders have pushed forward. There's a bit of a firefight. There's nothing in front of them. What was your plan here? How are you going to deal with the Crusaders just by, that, by the Desert Plums? I was going to stick it out. So, uh, two of the tanks retreated into the uh, shrubbery there and one got stuck. But um, the rest of them just keep firing at them as they came, hoping to my side and rear armour to hold off those shots long enough. Because that objective's looking very vulnerable right now. Absolutely. I had one tank left uh, close enough to contest it. And it looks like Jonathan's just realised as well. You can see him just starting to make a move over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it, w it was close. Um, but uh, right at the end there, they took too many casualties and had to take a company morale check. I see. I can see the Grants in the, in the far back just moving away from the battle. Is that the turning point? Was that what finally finished it for you? Absolutely. The, um, the Grant force was the first to break. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, Adam. And thank you, everyone, for watching. We're going to go back outside now and carry on playing our famous war game. Yeah, until next time. Yep, see you then.